I'm Coralie, uh, Coralie Fagnola, I'm the producer on Newton Atmosphere uh, from Bandai Namco Europe. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Wayne Garland, I'm game director at Supermassive Games. Gabriel here from Serial Killers, we are at the Gamescom and let's start with the questions. Um, first of all, um, why Supermassive Games? Uh, because the original, studio, is the original studio still involved or did you uh, talk to them, transitioning between... So, uh, Tarsha Studio decided to work on uh, new IPs and stopped working on Little Nightmares. Mm -hmm. uh, Little Nightmares is a Bandai Namco Europe uh, intellectual property, so we have decided to work with Supermassive Games for uh, Little Nightmares 3. The choice was like c coming from different factors, but um, they worked on Little Nightmares 2 and Enhanced Edition first, so that made them know the game, know the way Tarsha was doing puzzles, doing the work on the games, and I think that helped a lot. <laughs> uh, but they were also very passionate about the license, so it was really the, the best choice for us. Yeah, uh, as Coralie says, we're, um, we love the franchise, we're very passionate about it as well. Um, our experience with horror and um, our roots in um, like 2D platformers, side-scrolling, as um, it was kind of a match made for us, really. So obviously, um, we absolutely love the work that Tarzio did, uh, and we take a lot of great inspiration from it, uh, and we're happy to bring something new for the fans, really. Yep. Uh, so at the presentation, you only mentioned online co-op and an AI partner if you play solo. Do you get any plans on local co-op? So uh, the game would be playable on online co-op only. Um, but we, you, we, we will have a friend's spot, so if you want to play with a friend that doesn't own the game, you can still play with them, and uh, thanks to only one uh, copy of the game. Yeah, I mean, Couch Corp is something that we considered, but um, the game is uh, all about the atmosphere and the immersion, and I think Couch Corp, uh, you know, has, we, we don't really want to kind of minimize that by having Couch Corp, so I think for us online uh, only was the, kind of the right direction for us in that. Mm -hmm. Uh, can we expect some connections to the already established universe from the uh, previous parts or is it completely different and... So, Little Anonymous 3 is a brand new entry in the world of Little Anonymous. So, we really want to tell the story of Low and Alone and see their journey through the spiral. Mm -hmm. But if you have played Little Anonymous 1 or Little Anonymous 2, you will be able to see some links and some secrets uh, that are yeah, linking everything in the same universe. Um, we saw some at the presentation from the Alpha build, we saw some weapons. Um, can you go into detail with that? Uh, are there different solutions to every puzzle through the weapons or are you planning just one fixed solution for every, every ob obstacle? Um, so we, uh, while they can be used as weapons, we kind of, we see them more as tools basically. Mm -hmm. So tools for certain situations like uh, solving various puzzles or for combat in, for instance as well. But um, we like the way um, we can get some combinatorial play out of them. So as you see with uh, the Beatles, for example, uh, Low can shoot them out of the air, and that gives the uh, gives alone the opportunity to, to hit them with a wrench. So, really, that's kind of our focus: is like focusing on ways we can combine those to create interesting puzzles. Of course, what you've seen so far is the the first level in the game. So, um, really, it's all about tutorializing those tools and those mechanics. But as you progress through the game, the uh, they would become more advanced and interesting, and you know, and engaging in that way as well. So. Uh, more fun question: uh, We saw a lot of climbing in the in the Alpha builds uh, demo. Uh, is it just in this level or are there going to be more climbing sections with ladders? Or um, well, so there's a lot of climbing, uh, yes, because this, this level relies quite a lot on verticality, obviously, uh. because it's, um, it's a city that's been raised by the desert winds and the sands and all that sort of stuff, so it's created this like, massive metropolis uh, over time. Um, so, yeah, in, it's inherently got quite a lot of verticality there, and that's one of the reasons why the umbrella works so well as well. Yeah. Um, however, obviously, there'll be other level, levels in the game that um, might not be so about verticality and all that sort of stuff, so you know, it's different depending on the level. So, yeah. uh, Can you give us any uh, hints on where you drew uh, inspirations for the monsters in the game? Um, Movies so, we, obviously with our vast experience of horror, we're quite, we're quite good at coming up with some crazy ideas for monsters. Um, we obviously draw a lot of uh, inspiration from uh, the previous games and the work that Tarzia have done, for example. So. Um, the Monster Baby was uh, some inspiration there as well from Tarzir. Uh, and then really though, what we, what we do is we kind of prototype and, and play around with mechanics and, and come up with something that feels like distinctly little nightmares and interesting. Uh, and it's through a period of like kind of iteration and stuff really and osmosis and all the ideas that come together that we create these monsters, so. And also just each chapter has their own monster and you have some glimpse of that in the trailer. If you wanna have a look to look at our secrets. <laughs> 
Uh, can you give, give us any scope on the on the scale of the game? Like, is it gonna be comparable from playing hours to the first games, or are you gonna expand on uh, more chapters, more levels? So we are still working on the game, so we cannot give you an exact playtime yet. Okay. Um, maybe a final question: If you had to pick one one feature of the game, one one really cool thing you want players to know, what would that be? Well, I think that the co-op is maybe the biggest thing, like it's the most obvious as well, but I think it will bring so much to the game because you will be able to experience that like kind of specific atmosphere with a friend. And I think that adds a lot, so yeah. Yeah, I would I would say the same thing as well, Is uh, co-op's a big thing for us. Um, obviously, there is a single player as well for uh, fans who prefer uh, single player, but yeah, co-op is one of our major drives, but we want to make sure that um, the experience feels the same when you, whether you're playing single player or multiplayer. So, you know, when we're considering the design of our puzzles um, um, and gameplay, we make sure that we're kind of considering both at the same time so that people are kind of engaged with the same experience. Um, my personal thing that I absolutely love about the game is obviously the characters, low and alone. Um, I think they have incredible personality. Um, and I think they fit right into the world of Little Nightmares and uh, I'm really excited to kind of show you more on that stuff, so yeah. Okay, thanks for taking your time. Was no, great. thank you, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. <laughs>